Good day everyone! Welcome to Math Made Easy with Mom Bell. And if you are new to this channel, Lovely Day with Bell, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for you to be notified to my upcoming videos, okay? This video lesson is just the part one of our lesson because today, let's recall first prime and composite numbers before we proceed to our main topic, which is finding the common factors and the GCF of two to four numbers using continuous division. Before we start, let's understand first what natural numbers are. Natural numbers are the set of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and so on and so forth. So, natural numbers can be divided into two. The prime number and the composite number. So, remember that any given number has one and itself as its factors. So, what do you mean by prime number? A prime number has only two factors, the one and itself. And the composite number has more than two factors. The number one is neither prime nor composite. So, it is a special number. And to determine if a number is prime or composite, follow these steps. First, Find all factors of the number. Second, if the number has only two factors, one on itself, then it is prime. And third, if the number has more than two factors, then it is composite. Example number one. Is the number five prime or composite? Okay, the solution is the factors of five are one times five. So, five is prime. Example number two. Is the number 9 prime or composite? The solution is, the factors of 9 are 1 times 9 and 3 times 3. So, 9 is composite. We have determined if a single number is prime or composite. Let's look at a range of numbers to see if they are prime or composite. Please note that each range of numbers given in examples 3, 4, and 5 below are inclusive. An inclusive range of numbers includes the first and last number and all numbers in between. Example number 3. Find all prime numbers between 2 and 9. So factors of 2, 1 times 2, so 2 is prime. Factors of 3, 1 times 3, so 3 is prime. Factors of 4, 1 times 4 and 2 times 2, so 4 is composite. Factors of 5, 1 times 5, and 5 is prime. Factors of 6, 1 times 6, and 2 times 3, so 6 is composite. Factors of 7, 1 times 7, and 7 is prime. Factors of 8, 1 times 8, and 2 times 4, so 8 is composite. Factors of 9, 1 times 9, and 3 times 3, so 9 is composite. So, the prime numbers between 2 and 9 are 2, 3, 5, and 7. Example number 4. Find all prime numbers between 10 and 19. So, factors of 10, 1 times 10, and 2 times 5. So, 10 is composite. Factors of 11, 1 times 11. So, 11 is prime. Factors of 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 6. 3 times 4, so 12 is composite. Factors of 13, 1 times 13, so 13 is prime. Factors of 14, 1 times 14, and 2 times 7, so 14 is composite. Factors of 15, 1 times 15, and 3 times 5, so 15 is composite. Factors of 16, 1 times 16, and 4 times 4. So, 16 is composite. Factors of 17, 1 times 17. So, 17 is prime. Factors of 18, 1 times 18 and 3 times 6. So, 18 is composite. Factors of 19, 1 times 19. So, 19 is prime. So, the prime numbers between 10 and 19 are 11, 13, 17, and 19. Example number 5. Find all prime numbers between 20 and 29. So, factors of 20, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. So, 20 is composite. 
factors of 21, 1 times 21, and 3 times 7, so 21 is composite. Factors of 22, 1 times 22, 2 times 11, so 22 is composite. Factors of 23, 1 times 23, so 23 is prime. Factors of 24, 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. So 24 is composite. Factors of 25, 1 times 25, and 5 times 5. So 25 is composite. Factors of 26, 1 times 26, and 2 times 13. So 26 is prime. Factors of 27, 1 times 27, and 3 times 9. So 27 is composite. Factors of 28, 1 times 28, 2 times 14, and 4 times 7. So 28 is composite. Factors of 29, 1 times 29. So 29 is prime. The prime numbers between 20 and 29 are 23 and 29. Example number 6, is the number 31 prime or composite? The solution is, the number 31 is prime because its only factors are 1 and itself. 31 is a prime number. This is because the number 31 has only two factors, the 1 and itself. And I divided the number 31 by all numbers between 1 and 31 and found no factors other than 1 and 31. Therefore, 31 is prime. So what have you learned today? What is a prime number and composite number? A prime number has only two factors, one and itself. A composite number has more than two factors. And the number one is neither prime nor composite. It is a special number. So the prime numbers between 2 and 31 are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, and 31. Since each of these numbers has only two factors, itself and one. It's practice time! Okay, so try to answer the following activities for you to apply what you've learned in this lesson. That's all for today's lesson. Have a lovely day everyone!